I'm Jeremiah Bishop, and these are my training grounds. Over the last 20 years, they've been my go-to places in the mountains and Shenandoah Valley region of Virginia. These are the places where I do the work, build the fitness, and absolutely push myself to the limit. But these are also places where I find other things, like adventure, solitude. All of these places have a story to tell, and some are just about having fun. This takes us to Training Grounds, episode four. Shenandoah Mountain, rising nearly 3,000 vertical feet, making the border between Virginia and West Virginia, quite obvious, is a wall of a mountain. The Shenandoah Mountain Trail is an original Imba Epic, one of the longest continuous trail sections on the East Coast between the small sections of dirt road and the predominantly single track ridgeline trail. It traverses almost 60 miles. When you're deep out here, especially by yourself on a big solo mission, I mean, it just helps you to reconnect and, and it, it pulls away all the distractions of the modern world. Shenandoah Mountain, it sure is beautiful. It's really a jam. The origin story of Shenandoah Mountain Trail is unique. Single track built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. Part of his new deal was to get America back to work. They provided these uh, young men stipends and they would have to lodge out in the mountains in pretty tough weather. The cold, the rain, they had to deal with it all because they worked outdoors. And the only time they were allowed off of work when it was below zero degrees. So a big part of the legacy of our area and why the mountain biking is so amazing is from the work of some people during the Great Depression. Their work still lives on. You can see some of the fire towers they built, the retaining walls, bridges, dams, and single track. This 200 miles of single track in George Washington National Forest is phenomenal. A bit of history. Um, and it's crazy that I live 20 miles that way and I've never ridden the full thing nonstop. Man, we've had some just amazing races there. The Shenandoah 100 being the biggest of them all. There are some smaller races to prepare for it, but the Shenandoah 100 has been going on for 22 years. I've won the race about nine times. I hold the course record at six hours and 42 minutes-ish. And I think when you have your home race, that's such a big uh, piece of it. And it's just a really tough area to ride. Uh, one of my favorite places to train. I really hope you get out there and check out the Shenandoah Mountain Trail because it is one of my favorite places to ride. And for a long time, it's been one of my training grounds.